So after having this water filter system in my house for a few years, I wanted to do a quick update of what's worked, what hasn't, what I would change. So I installed this water filter system in my house back in 2018 and the key was to get rid of rust or iron in the water and it's worked great. I spent a lot of time designing and looking into the parts I needed to buy and so far it's all held up great. The PEX pipe has been awesome. That was easy to do. First time I've ever done PEX pipe. No leaks on the PEX at all. That was great. Just like that. One thing I would change are these pressure gauges. I, I have uh, one before and after the, the filters and I thought that would show me if they were clogged, if there was a change in the pressure. I never even look at them and they're always pretty much the same pressure. As you can see right now, they're at about both at about 33 PSI. And as someone pointed out, it would only show a difference in pressure if the water was flowing through it. So if you're thinking about doing this, don't even put in these pressure gauges. The first two filters that the water goes through are these spin down filters from iSpring. They've worked great. I have cleaned them two or three times, maybe like once every year. I'll unscrew this, take it out, clean, maybe put in a new o-ring if it needs it, um, clean them out with a little toothbrush like this and some oxalic acid. So this is the oxalic acid I use. This removes all the rust buildup, which is on everything in my house. It's a powder, it's about 20 bucks, that's what I've been using. The main filters that do all the heavy lifting are these two down here. And originally I had a 25 and a 5 micron. That's changed in that they don't really sell the 25 microns anymore. I used to buy them in a big box. Now I'm buying these filters right up here and they only come in a 5 micron or a 1 micron. You can't buy the 20 anymore. So what I've been doing is putting either I've been putting a 5 micron here and a 1 micron here. And that's the beauty with these is you can put any size filter you find or you can buy. So these filters I'm buying are about 5 to $7 if you buy them in bulk. If you buy them individually, they're $10, $15, $20. And I've been experimenting with some like this. It has a uh, carbon neutral filter in it. So I've been trying different filters. This one I've been changing every month. This one maybe lasts uh, every two months, two to three months. So every month, as you can see, I've been writing it down. That's 2021. So you can see, not religiously, um, it looks a lot worse on the outside of the filter. Once you change it, the inner core is still pretty white, so it still has some life left in it. But that is the great thing with these filters. These are really heavy duty. They've held up great. Um, and you can see when they need to be changed. I just come in here and look at that and I can say, whoa, time to change that filter. And I look up here, yep, it's been a month, month and a half, two months. Again, I'm able to change these filters in about five minutes each. I keep some rags and a bucket underneath so it catches the water. Um, as far as fittings, uh, I have a list on the old video of all the fittings I use. Some people had questions on how these work. They're male and female. They have a male um, threads and female threads on both. So you can buy different fittings. Also, a lot of questions were on this plastic hose. I think it's a 3 8 or 5 16 or something like that, but it's just clear plastic hose, and it fits on there, and you can see when you... You can flush out those spin-down filters and clean them out. Some changes I would make. If, if you're not sure, and if you think you have pretty good water, you could get away with one spin-down filter and one large 10 by 4 and a half filter. I think this 50 micron and this 5 micron do the bulk of the work. Adding this and adding the 100 micron, it's not necessarily needed, but I'm happy I did it. I'm, I'm not upset that I did four. It's just the same amount of work when you're doing it, but it's an extra $100 when you're building. Also, this has worked great keeping my filters, all my uh, extra O-rings, the wrenches right here. This is all really convenient. I can just come in here, do it, and be done. Um, but it's really kept our water clean throughout the RO filters in our house, kept the, the furnace and the toilets a little bit cleaner, catching all the rust in this filter right here. So let me know what you think. Thanks.